Well, how do you do? This is your doll collector here again. And um, I want to show a doll that I just bought that I remember seeing on a YouTube uh, channel from a YouTube creator for whom this doll they had was, uh, shall we say, defective. Its hair was loose, its lips was plain painted sloppily, but guess what? I got the same doll, and guess what? It's perfect. And I want to show you. Now I got this at Walmart on sale for $7.95, and here it is. Yes, it's the Black Ken of the Fashionistas, number 162. And some clothes, see? Look. See? And unlike that person who did that review on the other black, same black doll, his lips are painted perfectly and they're dark to the tone of his skin. And here's the back of it with the other Fashionista dolls. And uh, it's number 162. And uh, I also, wait a minute, I also got this uh, pack, I also got this extra close because we're gonna change his dress and have some pictures made of him too. Now as far as the, uh, and here's the back of it. Now as far as the uh, plastic packaging is concerned, I don't know, their, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, Mattel is trying to be environmental conscious or something, but by those standards, wouldn't it be a, a throwaway plastic thing, throwaway paper type thing which you can recycle? I don't know what I would do with this because I really have no, I really, really have no use for things like this, see? And uh, because I'm going to put this in the doll clothes, and I'm going to put this Ken outside with my other Barbie dolls for display. I'm not going to keep them in, and so I don't know what I'm going to ever, I'm not, I don't really don't know what I'm going to do with this. So let's take them out now. Oh, it's stuck. Goes out like this. Here's the case. Here's the inside. And this is the box cover. I'll probably throw it away. This is the back of all the fashionistas. Put that aside. And here he is. Isn't he a beautiful doll? A beautiful one. Oh, oh, yeah. I gotta take that out too from this rubber band. Yeah. yeah. Now we got. Isn't he a beautiful Ken doll? Let's see if his hair is loose. Good God, his hair is not getting loose. It's tough. It's frocked. Good God, it's not coming off. This other uh, YouTube creator did a test and it, well, the hair was loose. And look at the lips. Let's take a look. Is the lips matching the tone of the skin? Let's look. Let's check it. Let me. Let's see if we can focus. It's not focusing. Let's see now. Oh, focus. Okay. The focusing. Yeah, his lips match the flesh tones. Exactly. Look, the other emailer, the, excuse me, the other uh, YouTube creator, they got a defective one. The lips were painted too lightly. But it looks like his lips are perfect. Looks like a nice doll. Wait a minute, let me focus. He looks, he looks like a nice doll. Nice, nice uh, flowery clothes. He has a good haircut. Nice build for a male doll. Nice shoes. 
Now we're gonna we're gonna sh show him up close. Now let's take a look at him more and 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 an, an, analytically. As I said, he has a nice build for a Ken doll, and he's at, he's made perfect. He's made perfect, and I feel he does have good plastic superior plastic construction too. Now let's see what his body looks like. It's velcroed, so. Well, he has, he has nice clothing. Nice, nice material, even though it's Velcro. And, uh, let's see. Take his pants off. He doesn't sit, oh, he doesn't sit very good. The other Barbies can sit up better. Okay, let's see. His pants are nicely good material, too. And, uh, let's take his shoes off. All of the shoes are off-colored a bit. You know, green should be uh, more white. Nice construction. And his body, his body looks pretty good. He has uh, underwear. What's this in the back? Well, I had to get my glasses to read this number here. And it says... It's his number, GRB87. N441. And it reads that his body was created in 2016. But uh, he, for a Ken doll, he's nicely constructed. His feet, his feet is well constructed. And he could stand on his own. He could stand on his own. Wait a minute. Yeah, he can stand on his own if you look closely. Now we're going to check with the packets, the clothes packets. And here it is. And, uh,. Once again, it comes in a plastic bag that you can uh, put, you can store your clothes. But the thing about it is, I use a box. I, ha I really have no need for this. And I said, this is the information behind here. And now I got to pull this little thing off. Stubborn. Got it. Okay. Now we're going to unzip it. Okay. Here are the clothes. Let's take them out. Let's put an ant. Let's analyze what it is. Tough to bring out. Oh, yeah. They got the rubber bands. Here's that cardboard I'm going to throw away, too. I don't know what I'll do with this. I really don't. Now, he has nice, short... The clothes, the, 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 the craftsmanship seems to be perfect for an average doll. you got to remember, this ain't for us collectors. This is basically for kids. But the clothes seem to be pretty good for that price. I spent $4.95 on this at Walmart, and I'm not advertising either. And uh, his shirt, oh, it's stuck. 
His shirt is pretty good. Nice. It's Velcroed, unfortunately. They used to put zippers and all that, but Mattel stopped doing that years ago, mainly so kids wouldn't have problems. See, us adult collectors like, you know, buttons and, and, and those little clasps, but oh no. And the shoes are okay also. So now we're going to put it on him and see what he looks like. Now we're going to uh, put these, now we're going to try Ken's clothes on. Okay. Good God, this would this would look good as a portrayal of a beach swim, a swimming pool, or a beach, uh, a beach or a swimming pool, uh, swimming suit. So, let's see. Put our Velcro on. Let's see. Let's put his shoes. Mm, kind of tight. Nope. Think. Okay. Great. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. I have problems with my left and right. Let's see. Okay, I think. Okay. Okay, we'll just, yeah. See, they slip on like this. Perfect. Let's see what he looks like now. Yes, he does look great. Exacting matching of his main, um, his main, uh, his main outfit that comes along. Well, you know, I was criticizing how Mattel lacked quality in the dolls, but really, seeing in the first time uh, in person this, uh, I wish they gave him name because White Ken one time had a black friend named Steve. Why do they call him Steve? I think I'll call him Steve. Well, this new version of Steve, that's what I name him, Steve, um, in person, his plastic and his mold seems to be very much in superior quality. Uh, so Mattel, believe it or not, Mattel, um, his quality is pretty good, but um, I guess what it is, I'm used to seeing the same faces, the same looks of Ken and Barbie, but even the original Steve didn't look like Ken. Um, but I think I'll call him Steve. This is Steve. This is the new Steve. Uh, those of you who remember Steve, uh, Ken's best black friend, Steve, you want to call him Steve? Go ahead. This is Steve. And, uh, he certainly looks good in his outfit. He really does look good. Now we're going to take a, even a better close up of him.
Well, if you did like this video of mine analyzing Steve, that's what's his name now, Steve, Ken's best friend, please like, comment, and subscribe to my video channel. Say bye, Steve. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.